everyone. Sorry if I have if I get mistakes during this video. I was trying uh, to speak English because I don't want somebody in my family get mad at me because I don't they don't know about what I talking about. This is not a K1 visa uh, related, but it's about coronavirus related. I was lucky because uh, when I got here in the in the United States, the coronavirus is not really a big problem in in this area in this in this country. But as of now, we have already seen or we have already noticed that it's a big problem. Uh, when I was in the Philippines last uh, February 22 night, I was on the TV. I noticed that it's already three persons have positive in coronavirus, but we are not really, really bothered for us, for me, because it's a few. Just only three persons have positive. But now, as of now, it's a lot. It's a lot of positive of virus. Mostly in Quezon City. I feel sad because our doctor got a uh, seven doctors got a positive in coronavirus. And in Metro Manila four doctors died already. What I read the news and in the, in Facebook I was I was I feel sad because it's a lot of people has affected already in virus and we know already it's difficult for us to go everywhere I share already with my I I need I want to share about my family not anybody I want to share what the experience and what I feel at this time before before the government notice for a lockdown in metro manila i asked my younger sister to transfer in cavite because they have already they are living in in in, in cavite before but they have visit in caloocan before uh, last uh, last March, uh, la March ten uh, two, they are already get there just stay because my sister is under on on uh, what's this? She was under on maternity leave, so she wanted to stay in Kalookan then in Cavite because she feels sad and. Uh, my younger sister, Marialyn, and her daughter only live there. So, they wanted to stay in Kalawak and then in Cavite. But before, 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 before the, the coronavirus was a big problem in, in the Philippines, I asked her to go back in Cavite. So, they go back last, last, last two weeks. They go back in Cavite, and but I feel, I feel sad because my mother was in Kalaokan. So I advise my sister to take our mother transfer in Cavite because our mother was old. They don't have a, a good health already because they are old. She was old already. So I was happy because before the government said that lockdown. My mother, her mother was already in Cavite, so I feel blessed at that time. And so far, it's good, but I was in the everyday life we're going through. Our older sister work, la, the last work she had is last Wednesday. She filled she feel a little bit sad but i advise her that it's okay everything is okay because 
you have to need to stay at home just for our safe. So she had already the money for uh, just a little bit of money, but it's a little, it's a little for, for, for to buy some stuff. So she buy a one sack of rice because in the Philippines we don't live without rice. <laughs> That's our life. Even if we don't have, we don't have anything, but the important is rice. And so um, our younger sister having, I think it's at the, she said it's about two thousand money for her pocket. So I said, you need to buy uh, milk for the baby because she had a she had a baby at at the age of one and a half years. And then when my when the government say that it's locked down all over Manila, I felt sad because she need to buy a lot of food. That consumable for one month. My sister, older sister, uh, tell me that I have already three thousand pesos. So yes, I said, okay, you can do. You can buy some stuff. She so she can buy a canned goods, and she can buy also one sack of rice and one kilo of dried dried fish. That's that's our usually buy for 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 us, but. It's need a uh, one for us is we are needed really needed for rice, so it's okay at that that's that time. And then my younger sister, she just only buy uh, one for the baby is one box of Cerilac, and then she buy also a uh, one oh two kilos of milk for the baby and half sack of rice because she had a, a, a little amount of money and then just just few ma uh, just few days i was talking with her regarding about life regarding what happened there uh, regarding for for coronavirus so i was little feel sad because here in in the US, we are so blessed. Everybody was blessed here because we have we are buying some stuff, preparing for the coronavirus. And before the government here said it's locked down, so we buy some stuff. We buy some some frozen food. But I noticed here in the U.S. Everywhere in the restaurant. Everywhere in the restaurant. When we got there, my husband and me was eating in the restaurant. Last few weeks. I see already that's a lot of food that was true in the West. And I was realized that some food going through west i really i was not i compare in 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 the philippines how i feel bad i feel sad because they don't realize how food is important for us that's why i tell my husband i tell my husband and in person you know why i was comparing my life when i wa when i get there we don't need to waste food in a any little amount if we we need to keep and we need to eat for the next few days for the next day we have to keep it. We don't throw in the trash can because it's hard to find money. But here in the US, wow. I said, wow. A lot of food through. I don't want to waste the food. 
I sure I tell already my husband I don't wanna post some food that I I eat already because it's bothering me about my family. I don't wanna I don't want my family who was looking on my Facebook and said it's wow it's yummy that food you can eat but at this time I feel sad because during the coronavirus my younger sister tell what happens for them they say that they tell me about the experience about my niece in one morning she get prepared already a coffee a cocoa rice and a dried fish she just fried the dried fish only and the, for the baby, it's just only a bourbon choco milk. And then she gave her food for the baby. And she gave all, also a dried fish that's hard to bite for the baby. I feel sad because I've gone through with that time. How, how hard, how hard to chew. For the baby that dried fish she said when when her mother give her a dried food dried food she said she get the the dried food on on her mouth and she said wow mama look look mama hindi ganon ka sa hindi ganon ka tuwa yung naramdaman ko nung sinabi niya i felt sad and I was crying because she get, she was already one and a half just to give a dried fish. She was here yeah, to give a dried fish. I feel sad in that moment because in my side I I eat any kind of food here. I, I eat what I want but in the young age of in the young age of my niece she was eating already a dried fish but it's okay because that's our life in the Philippines that's our life that we can throw because we already we already a poor live in the, in the Philippines. <laughs> but I tell my husband that experience with my with my with, with my niece. I was talking with her about the baby. He was crying because he was not there. To help them, I know what he feels. He know, and I know already. My husband, he love, he love my family in the Philippines. But I said, it's okay. God's will, in God's will, we can through this problem. He was trying to send money at that time. He was trying to send money by PDO. But my account was locked. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because at that time our government our government are locked said locked down in our country. So I just talking with my younger sister that you have to pray. That's all we need. We have to pray to survive. Our problem, our necessities there. We have to pray to so we survive our problem about our food. I feel bad about the baby. Nasaktan talaga ako nung nung sinabi ng kapatid ko kasi mahal ko sila. Pero, I don't, 
I can't do anything for them just to send the money. But in our country, this time is not really good for travel to anywhere just to send the money. Now, in the U.S., they have a lot of food. They have a lot. We have a lot of food here. We just wasting our food in the table. We left the leftover threw in the trash can. I just relate myself in our country. A lot of people there was hungry because of the coronavirus. A lot of people there needs help, but I cannot do anything for them because I need to take care of my family. <laughs> but I was always pray that we all of the world was covered this virus. I'm just pray for us to to recover this problem. This virus problem. Now I was happy because the money that that sent uh, last few days, she he was in uh, money for five thousand pesos just to buy some food for them. My sister told me that she can go to pick the money tomorrow morning. So. Tonight in our in our country, she said she's uh, he said my husband sent up five thousand pesos just to get some food for them. <laughs> but I feel sad because she need to walk for how many kilometer just to get a food, because they told our government in the Philippines told them that. We totally locked down. Nobody going out, in the street. Actually, here in our country now was locked down, but they are allowing one person per house to go out just to buy food. But they have limit from six o'clock to ten a.m. only. They get they buy a food from ten a.m. in the morning and ten a.m. too. So. I told my older sister just uh, that uh, you need to go early in the morning so you can go home at ten o'clock. So she said, she said, yes, I feel happy with that. But now I wanted to say somebody that please. Stay at the house for our safe. It's not about the problem for the food for anybody, but it's the problem is the health. You know why? Uh, that virus is already airborne. Airborne. Our 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 country told us it's the airborne. It's better. To stay at the house because the air we breathe outside. If we got a virus and we get in inside house, it's already in the house. The virus is already in the house, so we don't know. We can't do anything, and that's I. I always felt bad because in in. In the Philippines, when you have a coronavirus positive, nobody can help with you, even your family. You can sit at the, at the house in one place. You can stay there. And if you died, she, oh, you can you can have you can die just alone, and nobody can. Be with you. That's I feel sad. In, in my side, I feel sad because we are already uh, 
family oriented in our country we are we are family oriented if somebody was sick we need to help them but at this time sorry you have to sacrifice that you have to suffer by yourself you have to suffer that by, by yourself so i will i will ask you to stay at the house to stay at home just to keep safe please no one can help us just ourselves and our family make sure that you're safe everybody there and i know my family here in the us was stay just only only phone and tv no one can uh, going outside <laughs> but i was go outside just to vlog now <laughs> sorry but <laughs> thank you and uh, hope you 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 have uh, learned a little bit lesson for us at this uh coronavirus okay stay at home and safe and pray 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 is the best things to do in the house. Thank you.